do you always have to run containment processes at lab scale in an isolator or wraps? Hello. In our last post, we have talked about how lab processes can be run in isolators or wrap systems. We had seen some examples of this from a real lab, where very small batch quantities from a few gram to one and a half kilogram are processed. In the range of approximately 100 gram to five kilogram batch size, it is possible to run without isolator. The multi-lab is a perfect system for that. Here, next to me, we see the multi-lab in containment execution. As the name says, you can run different processes on the multi-lab. It consists of the so-called main module, which contains the control system and the general process technology and the process modules. Here, the GPCG lab is connected to the main module. On it, you can run such different processes like the fluid bed drying process, the Worcester process in which pellets can be coated with either active ingredients and layering or coated with a film coating, a top spray fluid bed granulation process, a rotor process for certain pellet processes, and the combined wet granulation and drying process in one machine in the train pro lab. And all this in containment. We see the multi-lab is a real multi-talent. We had talked earlier about the fact that with containment processes, it is essential to control the interfaces to the outside, to the production area and the operator. The processes themselves are inherently task tight. The machines are running in a strong negative pressure, 100 times stronger than in an isolator. And they are built to be pressure proof. Depending on the module, that can withstand overpressures of several bar. Now we have to analyze which interfaces are critical and require our special attention. These are, of course, the charging and discharging of the plant. Here we have installed the so-called TKS split butterfly valves. Let's take a closer look at these split butterfly valves. As the name suggests, they are split the butterfly disc has been split in the middle. One part, the so-called passive flap, is now located on the container from which the machine is fed, while the other part is located at the machine. The active valve is named so because all the drives are located on this. These manual drives connect the two halves together uh, so that they build one flap. This drive enables both half flaps now to act as one single flap and opens the complete valve to, uh, so that the product can be transferred from the container to the machine. Let's take a closer look to the flap. The flap disc on this half double valve can be removed very easily. All you must do is open the fastening, release the lock, and you can now remove the uh, flap disc. This is how fast maintenance of a split butterfly valve can be. The seal to the housing is removed in seconds and can be replaced immediately. The same goes for the shaft seal. And putting it together is just as fast. The two halves of the valve are pressed firmly together when locked. The seals on each half seal against each other, ensuring that no product gets between the two halves when the flap is open and product transfer occurs. When the valve is closed and unlocked, the two halves can be taken apart again. And in this case, thrust emissions can be controlled down to 0.1 microgram per meter cube. We have this interface on all multi-lab modules, for instance, the GPCG lab, the VG lab, the GC lab, and the Blender CM lab. All of these modules loading and un unloading is done in this way. A mini discharge is a sampling. 
Here also product is to be removed from the process. This system with a continuous liner ensures that samples can be taken safely down to a, a OEL of one microgram per meter cube. The filter change of the particularly contaminated exhaust air filter is done with a proven bag-in, bag-out system. This housing contains the endless liner into which the exhaust air filter with the new filter is pressed out of the filter housing. The dirty and the old filter is now in a plastic bag and can be safely removed. Finally, we must also take care of the cleaning. The cleaning is integrated in the control system and is partially manual. The contaminated internal parts of the machine are wetted with cleaning solution and the adherent product is washed out. After that, the machine can be opened safely and the machine parts can be cleaned manually or in a washing machine. That's it for today. We have seen that a wide variety of processes can be run on the multi-lab, even without an isolator or wrap system, down to an OEL value of less than 0.1 microgram per meter cube. It is a matter of designing the interfaces to the outside accordingly. After that, everything is the same as in the standard process. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me at the following email address, focusing.containment at glad.com. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Stay healthy and stay tuned.